What's up guys? This is Jake from Jake Shop and Track. I'm here to uh, kind of make a little video about, it's kind of a response-ish that probably nobody's going to watch to uh, Justin Fiedler over at Dirt Tracker Daily. Um, I'm not really 100% sure Justin's background in motorsports. I, I should look him up. But um, here's... um. Um, and I'm kind of on his side on the whole, you know, streaming doesn't affect. It doesn't affect uh, local track bottom line or, I mean, it, it has to, to some degree. I mean, it might affect bigger events bottom lines. By that, I mean, maybe somebody from North Carolina won't drive to Ohio and they'll instead choose to watch it on Flow Racing. You know, or Dirt Vision. Or, I don't know, I don't think XR's got anything in Ohio, but or maybe on XR. Um, but that's a very small, small, small percentage of the fucking fan base of dirt racing and, and local racing in general, you know, um, asphalt too. If you, uh, if you were to ask your average, uh, fan in the stands what flow racing is or XR, they probably don't have any fucking idea. Okay. Like I was, I, I was, uh, last 4th of July, I was supposed to be running Halifax, but I didn't get my car back together. Everybody was out of town. I didn't have any help and lots of excuses, you know. So I decided to go out to South Boston to the 200 because I'd never been there before. And I figured I, I don't have a fucking NASCAR, so I probably wouldn't be that mad at myself for not being ready to race if I was watching NASCAR. And if I was a NASCAR race, a LMSC race, okay. That's late model stock car, which isn't like a late model car or not like a dirt late model like I race either. It's kind of a different sort of thing. But there's a big fucking wreck on the front stretch, about 12 laps to go. And Nobody, none of us sitting where I was really could see what had caused it because of the angle we were at, because it was way down on the other end of the straightaway. So I reached in my pocket and I fire up my fucking flow racing because I had signal, you know, miraculously. I was, I was at a racetrack that had signal. And they were playing the replay over and over. And I had everybody all around me looking at my phone and we were all looking at... And nobody knew how I was doing that. Okay? Nobody fucking knew. The place was packed to the gills. It was live on flow. And nobody had a fucking clue that we were nationally, that we were live, you know, all across the, the fucking world on flow racing. Okay? And I'm going to explain something to you. Not necessarily to Justin. But to the hardcore fucking lunatic fringe race fan like me. I mean, I, I, I'm a competitor too. But, you know. Like those of us in, in the battle. Like deep in this shit. We think it's a lot bigger deal than it is. Okay. Um, I, I have a friend who I help with a super street car. He raced at Langley Speedway for a very long time. And now he races at Dixieland Speedway. He, he switched over to dirt that season that Langley was closed. And uh, this guy's got a lot of friends, man. He's a member of like three or four different old man beer drinking clubs. I don't know how the fuck he has time to have a race car and have friends like, you know, outside of racing. But he does, right? He's got a lot of energy for a guy in his 50s. 
Well, anyway, he's got about 20, 25 people that come every, you know, all the time to go watch a buzz race. All right. You see him in turn four at Dixieland Speedway. They're wearing the orange shirts. Okay. So you don't, that, that's our, that's our people. All right. So out of all of those fucking people, um, there's one of them who'll point his truck in the wind, not, not counting me, you know, I'm, I'm pit crew. Sometimes I'm even racing my own car. Um, I don't really run Dixieland too much, but sometimes everybody equates me with that fucking place somehow. But, um, I guess cause I'm local here. But, and I, I do have a trophy from there for best pit crew from helping buzz one season back in uh, 18. Yeah. So I, I guess I'm a local, you know? Okay. So none of those people would fucking go to the racetrack if buzz wasn't racing. And they might go see me, you know, a couple of them or maybe, you know, Chris, my buddy, Chris, you know, But the majority of people at races, at local races, like the guy who's a Lucas Oil late model chaser, a guy who goes to Crown Jewels, somebody who'll point their truck or car or motorcycle, you know, into the wind and drive seven hours to a race, generally they're not going to go to a local race. The people at the local races are pretty much there to hang out with their family and they wouldn't be there if it wasn't for that okay like I, like I can't believe that I'm that I'm saying this but okay now now I'm kind of a rare I'm a rarity in this game like where I live I don't have any family um all my friends that I have here are friends that I made since I moved here you know, I, I came here in the Navy. I retired out of the Navy. But I'm originally from Michigan. And my dad raced in Michigan. And, and you know, like, the same thing. Like, it's everybody's family. Okay? The people who are at a fucking racetrack. Dirt, asphalt. Friday or Saturday night. They're generally there to see their Uncle Kevin race against somebody else's Uncle Travis, okay? And we're talking like three, four generations deep into the sport now, all right? And they hate somebody else's Uncle Travis by association to something that they probably don't even fucking know why. You know, they, like those guys' dads took each other out in a heat race and ever since then they've been embroiled in a family feud that's gone back fucking two generations ago. That's what local racing is. It's a different animal. It's, 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 it's a family thing. It doesn't have a fucking thing to do with Lucas Oil, with World of Outlaws, Sprint or Late Model, with the XR Super Series. Nothing. Okay, so we're talking about per racetrack, per local area, the guy who's going to go to all the way to fucking Eldora from North Carolina, you know, there might be three in a county, four in a county. I mean, they, we're not making a big dent in the local races, you know, income by those people not showing up because, I mean, frankly, you know, like we don't really matter. I mean, what makes local racing is mom cooking dinner for the whole fucking crew. You got the whole aunts and uncles and all that shit down the pits. And then you got extended family. And there's people who, you know, like to sit in the grandstands instead. And it's cheaper. Highly recommend that you do that. You know what I mean? And if you're not working on the race car, save yourself the money and go sit up in the bleachers, you know, that, that, that's why I, I just recommend it. It's fucking cheap. I'm a cheapskate, you know, you've seen my trailer. Okay. Um, but, but that's like, 
in a nutshell. You know, I, I don't know if I'm being closed, whatever, you know, like, because my dad was a local racer. Okay? I grew up in this shit. I've been going to fucking races for 40 years. I'm 45. I, I only remember back to about 1985, 84, really. You know? But, like, so the streaming, have we figured out how to completely bottle the lightning yet? No. Um, and I'm not smart enough to do it, because if I was, I sure as fuck wouldn't be working for a living. And I probably would have more than the two, the best 285 subscribers on YouTube right now. Uh, that's just my take. Um, thanks for clicking. Thanks for watching. Thanks for, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. I swear a little bit. And, uh, and that's about it. And, uh, take it easy, guys. Later.